I wonder. How long is it? Wait a minute. What did that happen? Anyway, let's just not worry about that. <laughs> We're back with episode 4 of Sonic Generations, and like my previous episodes, I have another guest. Say hi. Hello there, guys. This is GamerGuy7 Aces, and finally I'm uh, commentating on Mega Man NG's channel. It's about time. <laughs> yes, it is about time since I've been a special guest on your commentaries. Yeah. Now, let's begin with the bet with this. What do you think of Sonic Genesis so far? Oh, I think it's a... Uh, it obviously is, is the worst Sonic game, like one of the worst Sonic games ever made. And uh, I think it's just it's real sad that Sega really like shitted on their own game that was awesome. It, it, you know? <laughs> it's just bad. I know. Sega got lazy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well. They got lazy beyond belief, uh -huh. and I know it for sure because this is going to get really messy, oh, yeah. especially since we're tackling Labyrinth Zone. Uh -oh. <laughs> Labyrinth. Yeah, oh, I yeah. also forgot to mention it's also 20 minutes long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Act 3 is to blame for that, because Act 3 I took way too long doing the level. Yeah, I think... Not to mention... Yeah, I, I think no. I, I'm going to cut this game some slack. I think th th this level is bad on both versions, on the Genesis and the... the, the uh, the remake on Game Boy Advance. Oh, it can't be that bad. I mean, because, okay, you, you, you saw my code comment with, with, with Brock Knock uh, back in March. It, it was laggy and just, I call it the Labyrinth Curse. So... <laughs> Yeah. If Rock and I ever did a Sonic Genesis run, he wouldn't even bother. Though I would challenge him to do a Sonic Genesis run. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. But... Though if I really wanted, I would have challenged anyone to do a run of Sonic Genesis. Okay, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, so, anyway, what are your... We already know how bad Labyrinth Zone. When you played Sonic for the Sega Genesis for the first time, how did it feel? Uh, when I played for oh I, I never actually played this oh you're talking about the original oh yeah when I yeah played the this, original yeah when I played that it was awesome I mean you know it, it was obviously the, the it was the the oldest Sonic game being the first and uh, it was quite different he couldn't do spin dash or any of his cool moves and his top speed wasn't that fast as it is in Sonic 2 or Sonic 3 but you know it it, it was still awesome I mean it's not my favorite Hedgehog game but it's definitely you know right up there with uh, my favorite Sonic 3 Knuckles Sonic CD Sonic 2. Yeah. Yeah. Though I remember this level really well, and it really gave me like brain aneurysms because I couldn't, I couldn't beat it. Yeah. Though eventually I got better, and I did. Oh, that's cool. Nice. <laughs> and I thought I was gonna get hit by that metal spike. Oh. Oy. Yeah, because with Sonic Genesis, you can't take any chances. Either yeah. you like make, if you make a mistake, you're screwed. And in a bad game like this, it's worse because sometimes your rings get scattered a lot far. I mean, a lot farther than they normally would. Oh yeah, making things bad. a lot harder. Uh huh. Though I wonder to myself, how the heck am I withstanding this game? I already beat it, and it took me like two and a half hours. Wow. <laughs> yeah, because the problem is like this whole game is like scrunched up. The screen, everything is bad, so you don't know like what's ahead of you or below you. Yeah, and there's also something else you need to know. In the original Sonic the Hedgehog game, there was like a bug that after you get hit by spikes, you get hit again, oh. and you would die. Oh, Unfortunately, yeah. they don't have it here, which is a saving grace. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and is it in this game or the original where you hit the spikes and you just continue dying? You don't even have invinci invisible... It was in the original. Yeah. It was in the original Sonic 1 where they have that spike bug. Oh. And they, I think it's... I don't know if they consider it a bad thing or not, but maybe it's just another example of even a game like as good as the original Sonic one has some flaws. Yeah. I mean, it, like at the time when it came out, it was, it was like it was groundbreaking. Everyone loved it. Like, and it came out at the same time Super Mario World came. And I think this game sold more than Super Mario, or I think it was more anticipated, or it received much more buzz than that game. And, uh, yeah, because so Mario had a rival, and when he came out, it was huge. Yeah, yeah, and then with Sonic 2, like, Sonic 2 to this day is still the highest, the biggest selling Sonic game ever, because it was just so much hype. And, you know, like, like they, they, they said, even though, you know, Super Mario Bros. 1 and Wii Sports is the top two selling games in history, so Sonic 2 was the most hype. Like, you know, hype, like, like, you know, tonight... Uh, it, it, it's the last Twilight movie and all the Twitars are lining up and crap and shit. <laughs> oh, God, I hate Twilight. I hate uh, that movie. It yeah. makes vampires look absolutely stupid and emo. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking, I, 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 I did not want to mention that in this LP, but I had to use an example. 
But yeah, it's kind of like that. Like, like Sonic 2 was hyped to, to the, that level. Like, everyone was waiting out indoors. You know, it has never been done before to, to buy their, their titles of this game. So Almost as big as the Wii U. Because yeah. with the Wii U coming out this Sunday... Yeah. Well, at this time of this recording, the Wii U would already be coming out. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, yeah. Yeah, I know. Everyone's excited for the Wii U. People are doing, going to do videos of it. It's going to be insane. Yeah. But this is a subject I want to address. It doesn't relate to the Let's Play, but I want to address this subject. Mm -hmm. And I want to know, do you think that making videos of a new console is going to net you views, subscribers, etc.? I want your opinion on this matter. Um, the Wii U, I mean, if I was the first to get it before anyone else, yeah, sure, everyone will be watching my, my, my channel and I'll get high views, but I mean... It, to, to just waste my money for Wii U just for the sake of getting views and subs, I think it's a waste of, uh, it, it's, uh, it's a waste of time and it's kind of, uh, unnecessary, you know? I mean, like, I'm yeah, gonna buy Wii because I want to, not because of the, the, you know, attention. I know, and at this point I just lost all my rings, which means I can't get to the bonus stage. Yeah. Not that it matters, because by the time I beat in the game, I didn't get all six emeralds. Well. Like, like I, I told Sasuke and my other friends that I'm, I'm not getting a Wii U until they come out with Super Smash Brothers. Because right now, there's nothing on the Wii U that interests me. I don't want new Super Mario Brothers U, you know? <laughs> I tried it out at New York Comic Con. It was alright. Yeah, I mean... The it, same went for Nintendo Land. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad game. It looks really good, but um, it's just the same old, same old. It's not even the new original Sonic title. I mean, Mario title, like Mario Galaxy. Almost as much as new Super Mario Brothers 2. Yeah. But you know something? It's kind of crazy. Uh, Sonic and uh, All Stars Transform has higher reviews than New Super Mario Bros. U. Can you believe that? Which is kind of surprising. I know. And we just completed the first act. Only two acts left. Wow. Two acts more of this oh, shit. Crap. We just finished and act here. One. Yeah, we're now in act two. Uh oh. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I, I just couldn't help but have a big smile across my face that a Sonic title has a higher grade than a Mario title. And for, for yeah, one thing... Yeah, I'm pretty surprised. Yeah, and, and the funny thing is, it's a Sonic title that Mario fanboys were calling a ripoff for Mario Kart, when obviously that's not true. But yeah. That's not true, because ever since Mario Kart came out, there have been, like, lots and lots of them. Yeah. And some of them are actually pretty good. Like, for example, Crash Team Racing, Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah. Well, there were, like, a lot of other racing gals that, like, took advantage of this sensation. Yeah, exactly. Some of them were good, Others were not. Yeah, like people are saying, us uh, All Star Transform copied off from Mario Kart 7 because of the aerial and underwater. And and I and I correct them like, no. First of all, Mario Kart 7 they glided, and in Sonic All Star Transform they're they're flying like they actually maintain their altitude and speed. And and in Mario Kart 7 they go underwater, whereas in Sonic All Star Transform they it's like a speedboat, you know. Yeah, and at this point I'm about to drown. Oh, yeah. And look at, and, well, is that a saving grace? Yeah. <laughs> And, and also, and believe it or not, the, the like Se Sega has been making that game before the Nintendo even started on Mario Kart 7. It's just that because Mario Kart 7 was on a 3DS, smaller graphics, so they were able to get that game out faster than All Stars Transform. Yeah, but I also noticed something on the level. When you hit the spring on Labyrinth Zone 2, yeah. when you head out, you fly a lot faster upwards. And wow. I'm like, what That's the? Crazy. That's yeah. some messed up physics right there. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't, I don't have much to say about this game. It's just a fucking mess, you know. <laughs> but yeah, of course it's a freaking mess. What more can you ask for? Yeah, <laughs> especially on this level, I, I, I just, I, I feel so, so sorry for you. you. Have to endure a labyrinth on this game, you know. <laughs> the fans are wondering that they're gonna like shed tears for making me go through this. Yeah. Just wait till Act Three. Uh -oh. Act Three was even more horrendous. Uh -oh. Why? Because of how messed up it is. And you'll see what I mean when you get there, yeah. trust me. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, I know. Especially since the fact that November has been like a busy month gaming Yeah, too, too many games coming out. So I, I just want to spend it. You know, I'm actually like, as soon as I'm done with my Mario Marathon, I'm going to like, I'm, I'm going to start doing solo LPs. And, and I told my, like my friend that I, I'm not doing another marathon until LEGO games. But, you know, I, I want to stay... I, I just want to stick to, to solo LPs because they're much easier, <laughs> you know, co coms you know, especially that we're going to be doing and a lot of group com work and stuff. Yes, and I got hit by that thing even Orbanite. though I wasn't even touching it. Uh oh, yeah. That's the physics is still messed up. Yeah, that's really bad. That's Orbanaut, and, and, and there's like, like several versions of Orbanaut in the Sonic games. 
I know, and I even say to myself, why the heck am I doing this game? I ask myself this every time when I was yeah. doing Sonic Genesis. Why would I do this? To get fame, to prove a point, to issue a challenge? I don't know, and I really don't care. I'm just grateful that I beat it, and I vow never to go through a game like that again. Yeah. <laughs> Though if I went through Sonic 06, I would kill myself. Yeah, I, I couldn't do that at all. I don't know how some people... Frockinock 3 did, and I question why. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, you know, I saw Brain Smash Cons did this game, and it was hilarious when they did Sonic Genesis. You watched that? I watched it. It was hilarious. Yeah, especially the ending when, uh, like, like Sonic kept on dying in the final zone. So, like, they, they put, like, a hardcore, like, rock, rock remix of the Sonic theme. It's like, ah! <laughs> that, that part was Another so example of why the game is so bad, and even in the special stages, it's bad. Yeah. Because the physics in this is just really messed up. Yeah. In the Genesis version, you wouldn't have to deal with it. Though in here, it's more a matter of life and death. Yeah, I mean, oh my god. Yeah, I still think Sonic 06 is the worst game because it was, it was supposed to be... It's a new game that they messed up, but I still find it sad that Sega was capable of... They basically like ruining and 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 basically like crapping and shitting on uh, a game that was once great, you know. And I missed the Chaos Emerald because the physics in this game is so really messed up. Yeah. Made worse by the fact that this is the zone that's gonna give me headaches. Yeah. It gave me a lot of headaches when I recorded this. Yeah. I was like, I lost three lives, and I was like, what am I doing wrong? Well, Not to mention the movement detection, the hit detection, everything. Yeah. And even they didn't hear the boss thing when you reach Eggman, and I'm like. What? Yeah. You know, and now I'm at this point trying to get myself across, and I keep trying and <laughs> trying and trying, and God fucking damn, I'm already tired of this crap! <laughs> I know. And you know, and uh, it's, it's kind of sad though, because it's like Nintendo making a horrible game uh, remake of, uh, of Super Mario Brothers, you know? Everyone would be angry. Cause, cause that Everyone would be angry and Nintendo would regret it. Yeah. Would regret even making it. I know. Well, at least after about two tries, I finally make it. Thank yeah. God. Like, that's why I think, even though Sonic 06 is the worst Sonic game, this game is a bigger insult. You know? <laughs> it's a bigger insult because this is the original Sonic 1. I know, yeah. How could they fuck it up this bad? I don't know. It's so bad. <laughs> Uh, everyone tries to figure out why it's bad. GameSpot gave it a 2.7, while Sonic 06 ended up getting a 5. And I wonder, what? Yeah. A 5? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, I think some people wanted to... Okay, when Sonic 06 first came out, people gave it bad reviews, but they gave it, like, higher Fs. They were a little bit merciful on it. But now, after looking back at that horrible game, even after watching Cl the great Clements videos, I, I like, like, the... the I think people hate the game even worse now. Like, I think if, if the game came out now, people would not give it 5 out of 10. They'll give it like a 1 or like a negative 10. I would just give it a 0 and tell everyone never to play this game again. Yeah, yeah. I swear, at least Takashi Izuka, according to Sonic Boom 2012, they had a retcon Blaze's existence out of it. Yeah. Basically, Blaze is from the Soul Dimension, not from Sonic 06. Then how come it was explained in Part 6 of his review. Then how come in Sonic G Generations, Blaze was part of Crisis City, and Blaze said to Mono Sonic, Oh, I, I, I didn't dream I, I'd be back in this world again. Remember? Oh boy, looks like this is going to bring out a retcon. Yeah. So at this point, I'm about to drown uh -oh. because I'm deep underwater and now I've got to wait for it. Yeah. Or not. I, and the sound effects still suck ass. Yeah. You know, I I don't think what what, what Takashi Zuko said was kind of legit though because I mean, because I I mean like in, in Sonic Generations, Blaze is from Clark Crisis City, and it's quite obvious because she even like like references that level. That means that I believe Izuka needs to rectify this, though we already know straight from his mouth that she is from the Soul Dimension, yeah. not Crisis City. I know, because it, it, it's just weird, because, you know, like, in that game, Sonic Generations, every character, almost every character, um, like, like every, like, level they're associated with is the game they came from in their world, like, Tails... You, uh, with the exception of Tails and Green Hill, because Tails, you know, well, wasn't around that time. But, like, Amy Rose and Sonic 2, kind of like Amy Rose and Sonic CD, Knuckles and Sky Sanctuary was from Sonic 3, you know, and, uh, and what else? And Rouge was in, Cry in City Escape because of Sonic Adventure 2. Then how come Cream was in Speed Highway in Sonic Adventure 1? Okay, she, she, I don't understand. Because I think she was in Sonic Adventure DX. What, the director's cut? Yeah, yeah, the director's cut. How the hell? How the heck did Cream end up making an appearance there? I don't get it. I don't know. I I heard she was mentioned in the in the director's cut or shown there. 
I, I don't know. I think like okay now. Uh, she made her appearance in the Sonic Advance series. Oh, huh, that's weird. Okay, I think the truth is not every character shown on a level is from that game, but they have a lot of like similarities to that game. Like Amy Rose, obviously she's not from Sonic 2, but she, there, there there's a lot of like like like. I think like there's a lot of like similarities between Sonic 2 and Sonic CD because you know because Chemical Plant that game kind of looked like Stardust Speedway. And this is the point in the game where I'm literally going to get irate. Uh. No, I'm serious. I lost three lives at this point because uh. this level here is the most messed up. And look, even you see the vil move the enemy moving all the way up now. And the where? waterfall's not moving either. There are so many things wrong with it that I, I could just basically mention it all in just one video. And I can't even get up there. Yeah. <laughs> I could have spin dashed to get up there, but that would be a time waster. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to drown. So what's the point? Yeah. <laughs> I want to die so I can get it over with because this is just a waste of my time. Yeah. Though the checkpoint did save me. And what happens next is basically, oy, this is just really fucking yeah, mess. Uh, you know, it's, it's, speaking of this level, the funny thing, Jose, is that I originally I wanted to do a co comment with you on my favorite modern Sonic level, which is Rooftop Run. Of, of Sonic Generations, but instead, I'm doing my least favorite classic Sonic level. <laughs> yeah, I know. I figured this would rectify because I want to yeah. finish Sonic Generations. Though now at this point, I'm trying to see if they can get the water up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is what I don't like about this level. The, the level's messed up, the physics are bad, and to make matters worse, wait till you reach the boss, and this is where things get really wacky. <laughs> Even though besides the fact that the water now rises, the only problem left is that I have no rings to defend myself. Oh, yeah. Not even a shield's gonna help me, because let's face it, Eggman's just gonna run away like a little bitch like he always does, <laughs> and I have to waste my time with all this bullcrap. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, it does suck. Oh, well. Though at least the only saving grace is that this is the only hard level in the game. If uh, it was anything hard? else, it would be a real frickin' train wreck. I don't know, I think this whole game's just a mess. And <laughs> The whole game is a damn mess. How yeah. come GameSpot rated it a 2.7? I don't know. <laughs> you know, but you know... And look at this point. They're not even listening to the boss theme here. They just take us like, fuck it. What's the point of having a boss theme for Eggman if Eggman's just gonna run away like a little bitch? Yeah. <laughs> and I died! Oh, crap. You know, the, 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 the good thing is that even though Sonic 06 is, is, will, will remain infamous, I think, like, like Sega has done a, a great job of, of like, like hiding this game and burying it because a lot of people don't really know much about Sonic Genesis it's better that they don't yeah I, the only reason why I'm doing it is for the sake of torture yeah because I mean like like um, you know like when people are like how come like there's crisis city and Sonic generations hey look I, I respect the gaming company that has balls to, to show when they're wrong and I mean to complete ignore Sonic 06 I think would be stupid on Sega's part because it was a game and it was a new Sonic game that they failed so they might as well man up to it but but you know but I think it's it's, it's just shameful when you like like shit on a, like like a classic game that was great you know <laughs> so so I think like, like that's why they they, they covered up this game. <laughs> My guess it was to hide their shame because yeah. they were on a deadline and they wanted to get it done for the 15th anniversary. Yeah yeah. Ironic because this game was released at the same time as Sonic 06. I know both. Were Two bad. bad games for the price of one. Yeah. Sonic's 15. Though I do was... find it funny, it's now 21. Sonic's 21 now yeah. at this point. He's mature. While Tails has just celebrated its 20th birthday. Cool, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. Tail Matt and Tails Tails Channel actually made a video for that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. In short, Sonic's 15th anniversary was not a good one. <laughs> it was during the dark times of yeah, Sonic. Yeah, that was the dark time for sure. I think the dark age of Sonic. Like, okay, you know how it's just like 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 Sega and Sonic Generation says there's three eras. Of Sonic. I think within those three eras are five periods of Sonic. Like, okay, the first period is obviously the, the Mega Drive period, you know, when he was 2D. The second period, I think, is the is the transition to 3D period. The, the, the third period is, I think, the 3D period. The fourth period is the Dark Ages period. And, and that lasted from, like, Shadow the Hedgehog all the way to, like, Sonic and the Black Knight. <laughs> I liked Son Shadow the Hedgehog, though I never played any of the other games, Sonic and the Secret Rings and yeah. Sonic and the Black Knight. I never played them, and I don't know why, though I feel I regret it. Yeah, I just think that even though like, like Shadow in itself may be a good game, as a Sonic game was not good, and it was a little too dark, and, and, and with the cussing, it was just kind of distasteful to me, you know? Though it did provide some actual canon, because it was the yeah. sequel to Sonic Adventure 2, and provided more backstory on Shadow's like shadows existence yeah exactly yeah so um yeah and, and, and that's about it and, and also and, and the last period of, of sonic the hedgehog is the renaissance period 
which everyone's calling now because I mean like Sonic's been doing great you know I can't say the same for Mega Man. Mega Man's been getting a short end of the straw yeah. due to these bastards at Capcom. That's sad, yeah. It is sad because the 25th anniversary is in a is in a month. Yeah, that got so many d dislikes when I saw it, like that mobile game for his anniversary. Rockman X Over. There were so many dislikes. I was literally laughing my ass I know, off. No, over a thousand. And it dislikes. ultimately makes sense. Uh uh, a thousand, lot more, around three thousand. Maybe oh. more at this point. Crap, wow. You know you have you have failed when a whole bunch of people dislike an anniversary video. <laughs> you know. Exactly. They failed. The only I really know what the difference between Mega Man and Sonic. Though I am excited for the World's Collide crossover. Oh, that's cool, yeah. Yeah, and at this point we're almost out of time because I just finally made it up to the top. Uh -huh. But not before giving Eggman a bashing. Oh yeah. This is what I, I get for making me waste time with this fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> run off, Eggman, run. And unfortunately, we're out of time here. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Gamer, <laughs> do the honors and close this up. All right, guys, let's end this shit. Um, <laughs> this was my least favorite uh, classic level in general, but on the worst game, Sonic Genesis, it's even worse. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, well, it was great doing this. Let's torture. And uh, yeah, I look forward to doing more collaborations with you, Mega Man.